everyone, it's Melanie Ham. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to teach you how to sew part two of our summer skirt series. It is this option. We've got a little border accent fabric and matching pockets, but still very easy, very beginner friendly, elastic waist, play style skirt for your little one to just run around and enjoy playing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future skirt videos. We've got two more coming your way after this one. So I also have a PDF download for you guys. You can get it on my blog, MelanieKham.com. I'll have the direct link, link uh, down below in the description box. Some people like to print it out and take it to their sewing area. So of course you can watch the video along as you go and you can also print it out different ways that people learn. So I've got that resource for you guys. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna teach you how to make the skirt with this border fabric and pockets. Let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are for skirt number two in the skirt series, summer skirt series. So this one is gonna be similar in construction to the first one. Here we are with our main piece of fabric. I am making this one a little less full than the first one, partially because I wanted to only use a half yard of fabric and a half yard of fabric for each, um, you know, fabric one, fabric two. So I modified it a little bit so that you guys didn't have to buy too much fabric and have a bunch of leftover. So this is gonna actually be cut at 20 and a half wide by 14 long. And again, this is for my daughter's measurements. I will have a PDF download linked for you with some other sizing options and details on no usual fabric sizes um, in terms of like width of sizes and how you buy it off the bolt. So that's gonna be the main fabric. Again, 20 and a half by 14 inches. I'm, I'm always referring to inches for any of my UK people. Um, centimeters will be listed in the PDF as well. Now we're gonna put a little accent piece down here on the bottom. And this piece is gonna be cut 20 and a half by six. Okay, and then we're gonna also have a pocket. We're gonna add a little pocket to this one and it's six by seven. All right, so uh, watch to the end of this video if you've not bought your fabric yet and you can kind of see if there's any modifications that you wanna make. The first thing that we need to do is add our little bottom accent band here at the bottom. And you can see here. Um, and also, whenever you're buying fabric, keep the direction of the print in mind, okay? So as you're working with it, when you're adding your fabrics, make sure that it's all in the proper direction. So the first thing we're gonna do is fold this in half with the wrong sides together. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is line up the raw edges from the accent fabric to the raw edges of our main fabric. But I want you to double check. So once you fold it back down, make sure those butterflies are facing the right direction. Now we are going to pin this into place. This makes the hemming really easy because we just doubled that fabric over. You can press the fabric if you would like to. It's not quite necessary. We'll do that at the end. But if you would like to do that, please feel free. Now that this is pinned, we can go over to the sewing machine and we are gonna sew going all the way down and then we are going to use a zigzag stitch or a serger if you have one to finish off this seam. So again, I'm just gonna use the width of my presser foot, uh, which is just over a quarter of an inch. No need to back stitch because this will end up being in our side seam. Okay, now I'm gonna switch my stitch to a zigzag and we are gonna zigzag down the seam to finish it. That way it will hold up in the wash. That's all done, let's head over to the ironing board. Now when you iron this, I want the seam to be facing the main part of your skirt, okay? So when you iron it, it's gonna lay up, 
right? Because this is the bottom of the skirt, the top part of the skirt. It's going to naturally want to lay that way anyway. We can set this aside for now and it's time to get our pocket ready. Okay, so now time to make the pockets. Here's one that I've already made. We basically need to iron around the three, the side, and then this is the bottom and then the other side. And then around the top, we'll sort of make a little bit thicker and we'll do a double stitch to kind of make the pocket look a little bit more finished. So I like to do the bottom and the sides first. If you would like to use a little steam or a little bit of spray, that just sort of helps to get the nice crisp iron lines. So what we're gonna do is go just about a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch and we're gonna do that on all the, the two sides and the bottom. So go ahead and do that. Okay, now that the sides and the bottom are done, we can do the top part of our pocket. So I'm going to do the same kind of thing, about a quarter of an inch over to start. And then we're going to do another fold over, but we're going to make this one a bit bigger. Maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch. and then iron that down. Now we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew down this top part uh, really quick. We're gonna do a double stitch so that it has a nice little finished look before we determine the placement on our skirt for these pockets. So let's go ahead and finish this little top piece. I'm gonna do one stitch really close to the fold and then another stitch about an eighth of an inch away. Um, anything in that range is gonna be great. So go ahead and do that. Now that's done, let's go look at the placement on our skirt. Okay, here is where I placed the pockets. Now you can adjust this a little bit if you would like to. I did mine three inches from the edge and an inch and a half from this seam to this seam. So make sure that you're just double checking it as you go. Double check it again once you're done pinning because things can get a little squirrely as you're putting them on. Then we're gonna take them over to the sewing machine and we are gonna sew, you know, real close to the edge here. We're gonna back stitch and sew down, across, and back up, and that will be our pocket. And do that on both sides. Okay, now don't even bother getting up from your sewing machine. We're gonna take your back side of the skirt and the front side with our attached pockets, place them right sides together, line them up and make sure that your seam matches down here on the bottom. So you can put a little pin there if it's helpful. And now we're gonna sew down and do the zigzag just like we did with the yellow piece. So using the width of your presser foot or just over a quarter of an inch and go ahead and do that. want to backstitch on the bottom of that skirt because we're not doing a hem. 
it's already finished. All right, now we can do a zigzag. I actually just ran off the edge without back stitching my zigzag. So if you do that, just if, when you go back through, back stitch, back stitch those last couple zigzags to get it a little bit more secure. Now do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now it's time to make our casing for the elastic. Now, um, what you wanna do is iron over a quarter of an inch. So about this much. So iron over about a quarter of an inch going all the way around, do that first. Okay, so now we've got our elastic. And the elastic is, I, I'd like you to get, you know, about a three quarter of an inch, um, somewhere around there. So there, the brands might vary a little bit, but what we need to do is when we fold it over, it's gotta be large enough so that the elastic can fit in there with enough wiggle room. Okay, so we don't want so much room that it's getting twisted, but we don't want such little room that we can't, you know, feed it in there once we're done making our casing. So generally that is about an inch. So you can take a tape measure or a small ruler and kind of measure an inch. Iron that down. So now we've got a one inch opening. Um, you can pin that and then continue making a one inch casing or one inch kind of opening all the way around the top. Um, use your tape measure and measure it because it can kind of get a little off as you go. And then um, finish up that and then it'll be time to sew it down. I just found my seam gauge <laughs> as I was working on this. So if you have one of these, that's what it's for. It's for kind of like uh, checking your seams, your hems and things like that. And it has like a, a little adjustable guy here. So if you have one of these, it's helpful, but if you don't, a tape measure works just fine. So now I'm going to start along the back side of the skirt. So here's my pockets. And I'm going to put my hole. So when we create the casing, we need to leave a hole in order for us to insert our elastic. So I don't want to do that right over the seam, the side seam, because there's going to be a little bit too much bulk in there. So we will do that just a few inches away from the side seam. Here's my side seam. We'll do it about here. Um, We'll do it maybe two, three inches away. That way behind here is where I'll leave my hole because when I come back around. I've got my needle position all the way to the left and I'm lining up my presser foot with the fold. That way we have a nice secure edge. And go ahead and sew all the way around. Okay, we're back around. Now let's do our elastic. Okay, now I want you to cut your elastic the same size as your child's waist measurement. Mine was 24. Now you can imagine we measured that with a tape measure that doesn't have any stretch to it. So we don't want the elastic to be that exact size. We want it to be stretched out a little bit to fit you know, your child. So I cut it at 24, but then once we put it through the skirt and then bring it back around, we're gonna overlap by a, an inch on each side, zigzag it into place, and then that way it's actually more like 22, which will create a more comfortable fit um, for your sizing. So that's how I want you to cut it based on the measurements you took. Now what you can do is put a safety pin on the end of one side, not too close to the edge because you're going to be 
pulling this through the fabric, maybe about a half inch away, we are going to insert the elastic into our opening. And we're going to scrunch down the casing and insert the elastic like a little caterpillar. Don't let the other side get lost so, though, so keep track of that and go ahead and do this all the way around the casing. All right, so let's pull it all the way through so that we can line it all up. Now we can take out the safety pin and make sure that your elastic is straight. You know, there's no um, twisting or anything like that in your skirt. We're gonna overlap it by about an inch and then we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and zigzag it uh, securely. You want to just go back and forth a bunch of times along those edges and make sure that it's nice and secure. So while you're here at the sewing machine, just go ahead and kind of spread this out within the skirt. And while we're hit, sitting here, we can go ahead and close up that hole. Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and the end of your opening. There it is, it's all done. Okay, that's it. If you liked this video and it was helpful for you, found some value in it, please give me a thumbs up. It's a great way to help spread the word. You can share this with any of your sewing friends. And down below in the comment section, I would love to know what you think of this style of skirt. If you like the accent fabric or if you prefer the plain version from video number one, video three and four will be coming shortly. Don't miss out. Stay tuned for the future skirt videos and lots more amazing things coming your way. I will see you in the next video. Bye.